In this lesson, we are going to discuss how to find the least common multiples of uh, some of the numbers, right? Uh, more uh, straightforward or specifically some positive integers. So maybe I sound too technical here. So if you're already on this channel, you know how you have been doing. You normally break everything down for you to have a perfect understanding, but not just the technical meaning behind the word. Uh, what does it mean to find the least common multiples of a, a, any number that we are giving? But here in this video, we are going to discuss uh, two methods here. That is uh, using the prime factorization and then uh, multiples of what? Or multiples methods. So by listing. So we are going to list by listing multiple method right so that is the two method that we are going to which one is going to be easy so maybe i should change this one to a question mark then you are going to choose at the end of this video either by factorization method is easy or by listing the multiples one it's easy so this is a question for you must answer at the end of the video so here are some of the questions that we will discuss so this is question one question two and then what question three now the most common method that we know is by listing the the, the multiples right so what does it even mean to find the least common multiple now i have a very short video on the channel if you haven't checked that you may consider checking that so let's say you, you, you yes you right so you are this you you watching me right now you you purchase uh, uh i don't know what interests you but let's limit ourselves to uh, a, a candy so that is something i used in the previous so we have a candy that cost you five five dollars okay. so this is for day one is that okay so day one maybe on the next day i'm not saying consecutive right so on the next day we are going to purchase another one again right so that should be meaning that you are giving that seller ten ten dollars right so this is day two or maybe the second day is that okay so on the day one you purchase this so on the day two you are going to purchase this one okay is that okay so it means that you are giving ten dollars to to that person all right so and so on and so forth what do you think could be the third day so maybe this is for you, you can easily follow the trend here all right so now this is me all right so me i'm here so this is me with a very nice beautiful head here so this is me on the day one i go for ten ten dollars candy and then on a day two that's going to be twenty dollars candy right is that okay so here is what my my, my expenses so i mean means that on the second day i'm giving the seller right so the seller twenty dollars you are giving the seller ten dollars now what do we have in common it means that on the first day you and i are having something in common for me on the first day i spent ten dollars on that 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 different maybe some different kind of candy here yeah? Right, and then you your own year is uh, the the second day, which is uh, ten dollars. So if you keep on listing the the amount that we are spending on the day, so maybe obviously the the three year for me is going to be thirty, right? So thirty that what do you think will be the day three for you? So that is for you in the comment section below. You can easily see that you and I are having something in common, which is the ten dollars. Okay, so if you keep on listing the item like it. What we have in a common, we may have a multiples of numbers in common, but the least one, the smallest among the two of us, is what we are calling the least common multiple, right? Among these two numbers. Is that okay? So I hope that makes sense. Instead of going straight forward by finding the least common multiple using those technical definitions. So, so now let's dive into these problems and see how best we can solve them. So with the first example, we want to find the least common multiple among two and what? And three. Let's see if we can have some two or maybe the least common multiple among these two numbers. So the first method is by using the least uh, multiple method. What it means here is that for two, the multiples of two here is going to be two. We have four, right? And then six, eight, ten, twelve, and so on and so forth. So what about the multiples of three? That's just going to be six, eight, three, six. Is that okay? And then what follows? That should be 9, and then 12, maybe 15, and so on and so forth. Is that okay? So what would be the least common multiple in the short form? That is the LCM. Right? So the least common multiple, the least among these two people, yeah, I hope you can easily see that is going to be, to be 6. Right? So that is going to be, to be 6. Very easy and very simple. 
right so that is using the list or uh, multiple word i might take now for the question two here we have 15 and a 20. so using the list is the same thing so you are going to start with 15 the multiples of 15 that should be 30 then that should be 45 and so on and so forth. what about 20 so that should be 20 40 60 you keep on listing right so you see i've listed the first three uh, members or numbers here i've not found any less common multiple among the two of them so you have to keep on going using that method is that okay now very very simple now the the the, the, the trick is uh, using the prime factorization method here yeah, it is a little bit let, let's check that right so if the number is huge that is where you can consider using the prime factorization method or maybe the question is demanding uh, or is asking you to use strictly use the prime factorization method that is where you have to apply the prime factorization method so here we have two questions here. so with this number two i will leave number two for you to try and then give me an answer in the comment section below i am going for the very huge number here so this guy is what i'm going to solve it so this is for you make sure that you give your answers in the comment section below that tells me that well, you are participating so mathematics is all about trying so you keep on trying so many questions specifically exams like or exam style question for you to know exactly what is expected of you now using this third example here i'm going to use a method called prime factorization so prime factors so meaning that we are going to find first of all you find the factors that is a prime prime factors if you don't know what this thing is i have a video on the channel i will make or uh, i will leave that link in the comment section below or in the description right if you haven't seen that just make sure that you comment in the comment section below just say the link and then i will send you that for you to have a word so how do you go about this i believe this thing that should be relatively so here these are two 25 right so 225 this 2 is a prime number that is why i need to check that video if you are having difficulties in finding the prime factors right okay so this 2 multiplied by that you're giving 50. now this 2 is a prime number right so the reason why it's a prime number it is also in that video so you may check that now this 25 is not a prime number why it's not a prime number it is also in that video right okay so 25 here i have 5 and then multiply by all. Five. It's going to give you 25. If you have any different number, that's going to give you 25. Okay, that is for you. Just give you give it a try. Provided that you are having your prime factors out of those things. Here. Now, the way to write this thing is two, five, and then five. Is okay. So these are the prime factors. So this method is what we call uh, uh, the tree method, right? So the tree. We have another different method. So if you want to check that, it's up to you. The link is you know. In the description okay so now finding the prime factors of 100 here yeah, using that same method here yeah. so the first step is going to be 250 right so 250 yeah, giving me or oh, 2 multiplied by 50 is going to give me 100 so this is a prime prime number or a prime factor so here down here i'm going to have 225 is that okay so 225 is going to give you more 50 okay so what about 25 here that is easy we've already seen that in this part here so that's going to be five and then five so the way of writing that is two two five five right so you have two two five five very easy and then straightforward right okay perfect now how do you determine how do you find the prime or the least common multiple here so how do you find that i'm not saying using the listing method the method that you are going to list the multiples of the number you will not arrive at that but maybe it's up to you to choose which method is very easy if you are not restricted but if you are solely or restricted to use or the prime factorization method or the prime factors method this is how you should go about it right now let's see how to find that now pay a very close attention at uh, at this point here so i'm going to list so we are going to find the list this is the list common multiple for this 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 guy right so this guy here that's a two we have uh two uh five and then five right so two five and five and then the least common multiple of this this guy here this guy 100 here is going to be 
So look at the arrangement. You have to arrange everything in what? In vertical order. So this guy has two here. It has how many two? Two of the twos, right? So you have two and then two, right? So let me bring this dot, dot here. So this dot, this two here goes for the first two, right? And then this one falls under this. Is that okay? Now, the second one, so we have, uh, I think this guy have five, five, and then you also have five, five. So five and then five, eight. Right? Are you getting the point? Or maybe someone can interchange it. So let's say the person can bring this one first, two, five, and then five. The second one, maybe that, this one should be easy, right? So yeah, this should be two, five, and then five. Does it make sense? So here you underline everything. So let me take this guy away. You underline everything. What are we going to do here? We are just going to repeat them, right? So this guy goes down to be two. This guy is repeating itself. That is two. And then we have and then five and then five. Right? Okay, now what are we going to do here? So you multiply. Is that okay? You multiply. You have to multiply everything. So this by this, that should be four. Four by this, that should be four. And this one by that. So what will be the LCM of this method? So if I multiply this, this should give me 4, right? 4 by 5, that should be 20. And then 20 by 5, that should be what? 100, right? 100. So the LCM of these two people here is equal to what? 100 by using the prime factorization method. So that question too is for you. Make sure that you give it a try and then give me your answer in the comment section below.